Well, we're here at the Georgetown Elementary School's nature area. Uh, every year, for the last 10 years, we've had a nature fest. Um, this year, they're actually going to uh, put up a monument to Copahembo because he helped build the very first two elementary schools in El Dorado County. And to give a little bit of explanation on this, it is unique. Because in helping to build the first two schools, he got the Indian children to go, be able to go to school. And he did a great deal for the community as far as uh, racial desegregation. It was never segregated. Managed to get this community 130 years before the rest of the nation would catch up. Hill Nisanon Village that's been put up here, though, a lot of people in the community descend from the local Hill Nisanon because they didn't die off due to, in large part, Copa Hembos and Captain Juan's smallpox vaccinations and ability to integrate into schools. And uh, a lot of us have donated uh, time and effort, bark and um, things to help erect here a fairly good facsimile of a Native American village of the Hill Nisanon tribe. Uh, the spring weather or bear dance was typically held in about the end of April, so that's where we're going to bring out the bear hides. And they, depending on uh, the Tanke Nisanon and some of the Miwok, we'll see what, uh, and the Washoe may be able to come and provide a little bit more for this particular show. But it is a nice place to come, even if you're catching this program after it has happened. Uh, it is a good facsimile, it is a good place to take your uh, children, take your uh, Take your family, go for a visit. It's a very nice place. It's located right here, just to the east of the uh, Georgetown Elementary School on their grounds. And they've done a great deal to try to help. There's a lot of native vegetation, trying to replant a lot of the bunch grasses and such as was growing here, would have been growing here in 1848, 1849. Yes, we'd like to invite you on uh, April the 27th of uh, 2013. Uh, we're gonna have a dedication of a monument to Chief Copahambo here at the uh, Georgetown Elementary School's nature area, and we invite you to attend. The spring weather or bear dance, you had an individual wearing a bear skin such as this, was instrumental in part of the dance, and uh, probably was also rather fashionable fur coat of the time. And among the things to point out, we have at the uh, the Georgetown Elementary School, a fairly good facsimile of a lot of the, the winter villages. Now these would have been inhabited year-round. You would have had acorn storage. You would have had your grass species that were much like wheat growing in these areas developed. And permanent people that were living here year-round. While many individuals would go out to go when the salmon run was on or up country to collect different resources as they became available, uh, Almost everybody would be in here in the winter time. And this would be similar to Nobo Chitotoma, Hikikitoma, uh, Session Shuiam, and uh, Pohotoma being large villages, being able to accommodate up to seven to eight hundred people for a festival or more. It is interesting to note you're talking a large number of people. Compared to the Plains Indians or other groups, there were a great many people here and it is uh, denote uh, their ability to develop the agricultural resources that they had as well as the natural resources. Uh, very intelligent group and uh, permanent structures as you're going to develop with the resources you have available in this region uh, with a lot of snow, rain, particularly a lot of rain. If you're at all interested in this kind of thing, this is one of the sites that you may want to bring the family or yourself to come and visit.